this this spot is actually just in a national park. We're actually not that far from Sydney in quite a populated area. It's all bush around here and it's quite pristine uh, and it should be in better condition than it is. And we're about to uh, go in there and film underwater and just show you the devastation that's down there. Basically, it's just like a mat of uh, fishing lines. Um, basically, all that close to each other forming like, I don't know, 50 meters over 50 meters of just fishing line. That's yeah. all there is, isn't it? Well, mate, we're surprised because, I mean, over the last two years, mate, the fishing years died, mate. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, see, you still see a lot of fish and there's a lot of yellowtail, yeah. a lot of bait fish around, but, but the, you know, the big jewfish and all that, mate, they're, they're harder and harder, they're getting harder yeah. and harder to catch, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like a big trash can. Uh, fishing lines, so boxes full of fishing gear, fishing rods everywhere, knives, uh, I mean, you name it. Uh, anything that's related to fishing is just underwater. And did you see any fish or anything else? What else did you see? There was a lot of fish and there are lots of, there's lots of trash associated with, you know, what people bring when they fish. Um, lots of plastic bits, even plastic bags floating. And the fish were eating the plastic bags, sadly. There was a little feeding frenzy for a little bit. Just all the white pieces and they just went after just plastic. Um, so would you be confident eating fish that someone would pull out here? Not so much. <laughs> yeah, it's possible to take your own rubbish home? It's too easy mate, how easy is it, you know what I mean? Even though there isn't any bins here but it's not that hard, you know, like take it home with you, put it in the bin, you know what I mean? I think when you get a license you should definitely be invited on a training day to explain the risks involved, to show pictures of places like that just to make sure that people don't and they're creating an, a, a mess like that or just making it going worse. It's not just a mess as well, mate. It's the, the undersized fish that they're keeping, the people are keeping undersized fish, undersized tailor, undersized yeah. brim, you know what I mean? So you've been, just been for a dive and what did you say? Um, besides the turtle, which was, which was almost astonishing me because I didn't think there was anything down there that wasn't caught up in fishing line. The, um, this is just, we couldn't help but bring stuff out. Normally we weren't, we were just going into film and take photographs, but we couldn't help and bring stuff out. You just can't swim past so much rubbish and not do something about it. The only solution for a place like this one, it is um, so much rubbish in there is to stop fishing. You've had, you know, 30 odd years of unregulated fishing here and it's just devastated this area. So uh, time's up, time to stop fishing here.